Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today, I'm actually gonna go thrifting, but I'm actually right here at my favorite, or one of my favorite stores, The Potting Shed. I love this place so much. I was here a few days ago, they were having an event, but mom and I were actually here early, so we didn't actually stay for the event. And then they're having another one today, on Sunday, so I'm really excited to go inside and show you guys all the fun stuff. Oh, this is so pretty. You guys, these are so pretty. I love these. The plants are so pretty. This is Louis Gina. These are gorgeous. Gorgeous. Ornamental cabbage. Oh, these are gorgeous. These are so pretty. I love these colors. Oh my gosh, the flowers are beyond gorgeous right now, you guys. Like, I'm crying at how beautiful everything is. I love these too. The line is super long. They actually just left. It's super busy in there, so I'm just gonna go head over to the Goodwill and probably head over there like another day. Greetings, Salutations YouTube. Welcome to a new video. It's Adrian here. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. We're at the Goodwill today, hoping to find some treasures. If you guys want to see more thrifting videos, I'll have them linked at the top right hand corner and down in the description box below. Don't forget to add me on Instagram and Facebook. It's Adrian, just like it's spelled here. And don't forget to check out my shop at itshadrian.com to see what I have for sale from my thrifting adventures. But without further ado, let's go into the store and see what we can find. All right, you guys, I'm looking through the bags. I saw this coach. It's $25, though it's a little expensive. There's like a needle sticking out at the bottom, like a sewing needle thing, which is not cute. So you guys have to be careful, too, because you never know what's going to be inside these things when you are thrifting. But I don't really see any bags right now. There's a Juicy Couture, but I don't really like it. What is the water bag called? Huh? Alright, I'm looking for or through the pottery and like bakeware, cookware and stuff. Looking for a Le Creuset, Pampered Chef. Okay, something like this. This looks like Le Creuset from up here, but you never know. Um, it's $4.99, says it's made in France. Oh, right there. You guys see that? It's like a little blurry. Le Creuset. There it is, Le Creuset. Just running quickly through here and seeing what they have. Oh, they have one of these Bailey's cups. <laughs> I really like these giant glass things. They're so expensive. This one's 20. I just found these super cute pillows, but they're $10, so I'm not gonna get them. A little pricey, but they are new from Target. And I think they're outdoor, but $10, maybe no. And there's only one. I saw someone holding one, and I ran over here to see if they had any more, and they only had one more. Just found this snowflake pillow. It's pretty too. But it has no zipper and I don't like ones that I can't really wash and I don't know where it's from. And there's no price. And there's only one, so not gonna get this one either. But they do have some pretty cute pillows. This would be cute to mix and match. That one looks pretty nice right there. And I'm also kind of obsessed with that pineapple one. Okay, this one, I don't know why it says $8, but it says it's $4.99 too. So probably not probably $7.99. It's really pretty. These actually kind of go together if you mix them with the other like the right pillows. I really like this one though. It's crazy that they have this punching bag here. It's $80. Now I'm just looking through the furniture. Still checking out furniture pieces from mom and dad's patio to see if I can find anything really cute for them. Look at those chairs. Someone did a DIY on the seat cushions for sure. Look at that furry chair. What is that? I found this other table. 
And it has a cool base, but I feel like it's too chunky. I don't know, I kind of like it. It's also only $40. Why are there so many cool tables today? But I think I definitely do prefer the other one more than this one. Though I feel like the bench would match this one, but I already bought the other one, so it's already too late. If you guys want to see that video, just watch the one before this, because it went up before. Um, but I found another table for outside. And, yeah, but this is from Ashley. I think the other one might have been a Target table, I'm not too sure. But, yeah. Okay, guys, I just left the store. Um, let's go ahead up one more store, and then we'll show you guys what I got. Alright, you guys, I just left. Let's go back to the house, and I'll show hey, you guys, guys what I got. Okay, so we're back at the house. It's a few days later, and I'm really, like, really, really excited to share with you guys what I got um, from these two stores that we went to. So I have the first item here, which I was really excited for because I just love a good pillowcase. And this one was only like $3.99 or $4.99. The sticker fell off because it was just like sitting on here. I don't know. But I love this pineapple print, first of all. And I love that it's actually zippered. So I can actually take this off and wash it. And what's funny is that underneath there's actually like a Christmas pillow, which is really funny. Um, I don't know if that one is washable and I don't know where this is from but it just says I can machine wash it cold which is perfect and I just like was in love with the print and I, I, I don't know if I would necessarily use this print at the moment because right now it's like a little bit more fall weather and Thanksgiving is just next week but this is going to be great for next year so I'm just going to wash it put it away and then I guess I can use the Christmas pillow that's inside which is really really funny let's actually take it out and I'll show you guys what it looks like Maybe it's because this other pillow doesn't, like, isn't removable. Is that why it's like this? I am not all too certain. How do they even get this pillow in here? It's, like, so tight. Oh, actually, this is removable. And it's by Devi Design. But, okay. So, I got two pillows for the price of one. Because inside is this lovely snowflake pillow. And it's in gray, too. So, I would totally be able to use this in my decor. So, I'm very excited about that. And then the back has some fun stripes on it. So, Devi Designs, thank you so much. And it's actually, like, zips open and close. I wonder if there's another pillow hiding inside. Or if it's just, like, a regular pillow. Oh, it's just a regular... This is actually pretty nice. It feels like a pottery barn or like something pillow. It's like nice and feathery. Does it say where it's from? Tag Zigzag Ink. So it's 100% cotton exterior and filling is 100% feather. So this is like a really good quality pillow because just the inserts alone, like one that's this nice, is not just going to be $4.99. So I think I got a good deal. I got two exterior pillow covers and then one interior pillow. So I'm really happy. So yay. Okay. That's really exciting. Look at that. <laughs> um, okay. So then I found these three thank you cards. Um, which I'm really excited about. They're all 99 cents, and I believe they all come with 25 something cards. So I'm always looking for these. So I have this one with like little, like, I think these are like phases of the moon, which I think are really cool. So there's that. And these are all new from West Emory, which is a brand carried by Target. Oh, this one's my favorite. I feel like I would just save these forever and not use them. <laughs> Unless, like, I really have to. But they're so cute. It has, like, two horses, but they kind of look like unicorns. I'm going to call them unicorns. And they say thank you. Oh, I love them. I really like these a lot. Those ones are so cute. And this one says, can't touch this. Which I like, too. It reminds me of MC Hammer. Right? He sings that song. Can't touch this. Or can't touch this. Do, 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 do. Can't even talk anymore. I... <laughs> But yeah, so I got all those for 99 cents each, which I think are a pretty fair price. And then, last but not least, for um, the home goods, I got this beautiful Le Creuset, like, kind of grilling pan. And it is in bright orange. This is the first 
orange Lake Crusade piece that I have found. And I'm really, really excited. Uh, this one, I believe, is a little bit more... I don't know if it's vintage, but I don't know. I almost didn't notice that it was Lake Crusade. It says Lake Crusade right there. It says France right there underneath. And it's actually in really good condition. Just needs to be washed up and cleaned a little bit. Um, I need to wash the... Um, this is, what is it called? Cast iron. So I just need to wash that and clean it up and then condition it with like oil so that's nice and like ready and conditioned and yeah so mom's gonna be really excited for this i haven't even told her i'm just gonna wait till she gets home to show her but this is so cute you can cook like little burgers on here you can like pretty much do a ton of stuff with this and it's so cute and it's like a really good compact size so yeah lake Rus i love finding a lake Rus at the goodwill i always like it's one of my favorite things, Le Creuset, um, Pampered Chef, um, anything, Potty Barn, Williams Sonoma, uh, Crate and Barrel, um, Sur Le Tub, um, stuff like that. Like, perfect, amazing bakeware, cookware, dinnerware, and all that. So, I'm always on the lookout because you can find some really good quality stuff for your kitchen at the fraction of a price. Like, a lot of my, like, di like dinner our um, dinner plates and stuff are all thrifted. Pottery Barn, beautiful and amazing condition. Like, looks like I just got them new from the store. So, I'm like obsessed with that. And then I just have just one more little item to share with you guys. And this one was actually behind the register and I was really excited when um, the lady pulled it out and I asked, when I asked her if she had any bags behind there. Because sometimes they keep bags behind the register. Um, this one was a little bit pricey though. It was um, $14.99 I believe. But it is this beautiful B. Mikowski shoulder bag. It's a great size. Um, it reminds me of the shape of the Louis Vuitton Mahina, which is why I kind of like it. I really like this kind of shape. And then it has this B. Mikowski chain, or um, kind of like dongle right there. And then it just opens up nicely right here. There's a zipper compartment in the middle. And then the two, there's two exterior pockets on the front and the back that are magnetic. And then just two pockets on the side, and then another pocket in the back. So that's what I really love about B. Mikowski bags. They really think about putting lots of compartments in there. So you always have a compartment for everything, for your phone, your keys, whatever you need. You're going to know where it is, because there's so many compartments, and you're going to know where you're going to put those things. So that rounds out today's video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and checking out my haul and going thrifting with me. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did... Please give this video a big thumbs up. It helps immensely. Don't forget to subscribe so you'll be updated when I do post new videos. And I do post videos every single day. And don't forget to hit the little bell so you'll be notified when those videos do go up. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye. So they have the Smith & Hawkins side tables right here. But they're so expensive. They're $32.99 each. If it was for the pair, I would be like, totally. But... That's a little expensive for these, so it would have matched um, the one that I got my parents for their balcony. I kind of want to do a surprise like balcony makeover for them for when they get back. I think it would be really, really fun. Um, so that's also what I'm shopping for right now. It's like st 